All right, this is a demonstration video on uh, how to do a rebate joint. Here's one here. Uh, as you can see, this is one of the options that we can use. Uh, nails are used to hold it together. All right, let's do it. So, first of all, we need to mark down our thickness of our material so we can use our other piece of timber to do that. So we're lining it up flush on the end here. Make sure we're not crooked and put a little mark there. Cross square and we will transfer that line across and uh, down our edge and down both edges. All right, marking gauge, ruler. Uh, we need to set the depth of our uh, rebate. So you'll be able to find this on your workshop plan. Very good. This is always easier if you do it in the vise. and run your pencil through there so I can see the line. Get yourself set up with a bench hook. All right, so we cut. Alongside the line there. Check. Now, what you should, hopefully, you can see this. My cut should just touch the line. I don't know whether you can see that. Anyway, let me continue. Little bit deeper. All right. Place this in the vise, and we just need to chisel away our waste. So I've got a wider chisel, the 25 mil. And we chisel a little bit at a time. We don't try and do it in one big hit. And chisel out our pieces. Just work our way down. I'm probably chiseling between one and two millimeters each time. All right, I'm getting pretty close to my line. We'll take that down very carefully. Now that I'm on my line, my chisel sits in the mark that was left by the marking gauge. And now it's a matter of just paring away the waste down to that mark. Whatever you do here, don't put your fingers in front of your blade. Keep your hands, fingers behind the blade at all times. And that's it there. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I've touched my line all the way around. 
Now we nearly need to nail it together. So, the pieces are going to fit together like that. It's good to check at this stage, make sure things are going to work. And our nails are going to go hopefully you can see that, on an angle through that way. So it can be good practice to mark where you want the nails to go. So I can use my finger as a bit of a gauge there. And I'll come in maybe five millimetres from the edge. That gives me two points. Now we'll set this up in the vise. Set it up so that there's a slight gap under this piece so that it ends up sitting properly in the rebate. We'll just move that aside for the moment. Get the hammer. We can start the nails out here on the bench. Should be able to see the angle that these nails are going in at. Let's place it together. I'm using my fingers to get it flush on the outside edges. You can hold it in there nice and tight. Do make sure your vice is tight. And hammer them home. Look at that, I'm bending a nail. Can it be rescued? I don't think it can. most of the way, then you can check to see if things are uh, sitting in the correct spot. Hammer them home. How do you know what length nails to use? Well, the length of the nail should be at least double the thickness of the timber you're nailing through and you can work out the length of the nails.